Think you know Canadian politics? Think again. You know, a lot of people in this country think that atheists don't care about religion or shouldn't care about religion, but just because we don't believe in God and don't believe in the tenets of metaphysics or religious beliefs does not mean that we don't care deeply about ethical questions, even about religious questions, and the role that religion plays in a purportedly secular society. Over the last few months in Canada, a brouhaha has erupted over the contents of this book, The Armageddon Factor, by uh, journalist Marcy MacDonald. The theme of the book is that there is a deep and often hidden connection between the religious right in Canada and all levels, but especially the federal government. So we didn't know what to think of this, and a number of us decided to get our answers at the National Prayer Breakfast, which happens in Ottawa every May, and it's basically an opportunity for representatives of the judiciary, of the federal government, and even of the armed forces, and the Senate, and other high-ranking government officials to get together under a Christ-centered mandate to pray and discuss the role of faith in the public square. Guess who came to breakfast? Speaking over there, we have the uh, Honorable Robert Bouchard, an MP for the Bloc Québécois. This is the Canadian Chief of Land Staff, Lieutenant General Andrew Leslie of the Canadian Armed Forces. Over here, we have two Conservative MPs. On the right, Stockwell Day, uh, one, um, among the, who's in the Cabinet. And on the left, we have the Speaker of the House of Commons, the Honorable Peter Milliken. About a thousand people there that morning at the National Prayer Breakfast in Ottawa. In a second, you'll see the full uh, table there at the front. It includes on the left uh, the Supreme Court Chief Justice Beverly uh, McLaughlin, as well as Speaker of the Senate, the Honorable Noel Kinsella, and of course, Jack Layton, leader of the NDP party. In my very brief couple of minute interview with Stockwell Day, the former leader of the Canadian Alliance Party and now a member of the cabinet of the Harper government, Day did defend what I would describe as violations of church-state separation, namely the inclusion of God in our Canadian national anthem and in the preamble of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. However, he did do something that I don't think we'd hear from a lot of U.S. politicians, namely admitting that there are in fact atheists at the, in the very House of Commons in which he works every day. You know, on that point about comparing Canada to the U.S., one thing that I realized as I was looking around the room at the National Prayer Breakfast was just how different things are. We're often made to be concerned about the uh, attempts by the religious right to infiltrate the American political system, and, well, we should be concerned. But remember, the U.S. has an official separation of church and state. Canada doesn't. And the consequences of that are events like the National Prayer Breakfast, where every level or sorry, every political party is being represented, and so who is going to speak for the secular position when even members of the court, highest ranking chief justices, are praying and are talking about the role of religion in their own domain as well? And I'm sure it goes without saying that no atheist or humanist organizations were officially invited to the event. 